everyone thank you for tuning into today's video I just received my Dior order and wanted to do a quick unboxing with you guys I haven't opened this yet um, I wanted to do it together anyway so let's get on with it I am doing a voiceover for this video so while I show you guys the free gifts with purchase I'm gonna talk about what I got I got the new Rouge Dior forever the first transfer proof bullet lipstick by Dior in the description it says Dior innovates with Rouge Dior forever the first transfer proof Dior lipstick bullet form bullet form ultra pigmented for intense color and concentrated in floral lip care delivers 16 hours of no transfer wear without compromising comfort so i ordered one shade from this and i liked it so much that i ended up getting three more so in this box there are three lipsticks that i ordered and then i'll also start i'm going to start off with the actual first one i ordered i'm going to show you all of them in any case um the reason i i ordered three more is because i used one the first one that i got to work one day and it was awesome it lasted the entire night I work overnight shifts and it did not budge it did not disappear there was a little bit of transfer because you know wearing a mask at work sometimes it gets humid there is not much we can do about that so there's a little bit of transfer for sure but it was very comfortable in any case so I am showing you guys the free gift with purchases and the promo code which I'll make sure to include in the description box or somewhere on the screen so you guys could use it as well and let's get into the actual lipsticks I picked up three in this order like I said this is the boxed packaging it says Rouge Dior forever on there and then these are the three shades that came in this specific order let's get on with the actual lipstick itself i do like the packaging on this one it is a matte black very sleek looking lipstick i'm loving the packaging of this lipstick the first one i got uh, the one that i started out with i wanted to see what it would be like if it would be too drying on me it wasn't i was wrong 416 forever wild is described as an ochre on dior's website do not like their lip swatches on their website it's not very helpful I wish Dior would change that and fix it but anyway this lipstick is very autumnal very fall vibes as you can see it's like a like a very very warm brown and I love it I love it I wore this to work loved it was still there in the morning didn't have to reapply or anything so comfortable too my lips weren't dry i was expecting it to dry out my lips but it didn't it's very nice the next lipstick i picked up is the 300 forever nude style a deep taupe nude it says i don't agree with the description and the photos again are very misleading this is not as deep on me on my lips i have pigmentation this is more of a rosy brown shade a very I'm going to say a very medium sort of taupe nude. Not even taupe on me. It's a rosy brown. You will see in the swatch here. It's cool toned, but it's a rosy brown on me. I think you guys can see what I mean here. So that one's forever wild and ochre. And then the other one is forever nude is supposed to be forever nude style which is a supposed to be a deep taupe nude anyway moving on <clears throat> the next one i picked up is 518 forever confident a deep warm nude now this one i agree that it is warm but on me it is again a very fall lipstick this one i think is one of the the favorite ones out of all three of the <clears throat> lipsticks I've shown you so far because this is a bit of a mid-tone shade it's very similar to 416 forever while the first shade it's just lighter than that on my lips I love this shade as well 
I don't know. I don't regret getting any of these shades. They're all perfect. Now, last but not least, this is a limited edition shade, which if you like orangey shades, I would jump on this one. There is no lipstick swatch for this one. It's only described as a bright orange. 442 Forever Striking Limited Edition, a bright orange is all it says. But it's, again, a very fall autumnal orange on me, more like a pumpkin orange on me. I was very confused when I put it on. It didn't look bright, bright orange, just like straight up bright orange on me. On me, it was more of a pumpkin orange. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to look different on different people with different skin tones. But on me, that's what it looks like. You can see it's not like a bright in your face orange. That's what I was expecting. Forever striking a bright orange. They have another shade in the collection. Um, the 732 Forever Vibrant, which is a bright orange shade. This one is the limited edition one. 442. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. If I have any lipstick swatched lip swatches, I will make sure to include in the video. If not, then my Instagram will have those soon. So make sure you follow me. I've, all the information is linked down below. Let me know what you guys thought. And if you would be getting any of these, I would like to know. And until next time, this is Amira signing off. Bye now.